Hi, I'm Natalie Bouchard, and you're listening to Inside NC Labor, a podcast designed to inform and educate North Carolina citizens on the role that the Department of Labor plays in state government. Welcome everyone to Inside NC Labor. We're here with some very special guests today in Greensboro on site at the Carolina Star Safety Conference. Okay, so Commissioner, would you like to start us off with the introduction? Uh, Yes, I'm Cherie Berry, Commissioner of Labor for the state of North Carolina. Hi, I'm Amanda Scott. I'm the safety manager with Pfizer Incorporated in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina, and I'm also the president of the Carolina Star uh, Board of Directors. And I'm Dolores Questenberry. I'm the Communications Director at the North Carolina Department of Labor. I'm Kerry West with the Monday Company, a contract manager down in Wilmington, North Carolina for them. I'm also on the Board of Directors and I take care of the vendors. I'm Natalie Bouchard with the Communications Division at the North Carolina Department of Labor. I'm Lamont Smith uh, with the North Carolina Department of Labor. I am the Recognition Program Manager and also an Advisory Board Member of uh, the Carolina Star Safety Conference Incorporated. Lamont, why don't we start off with you telling us a little bit about the conference, its purpose, and why we're all here today. Well, the purpose of the Carolina Star Conference is to bring groups of people together, which are our Carolina Star participants, and any other company that wants to attend the conference, bring them together and collaborate and share best practices, ideas, and perspectives uh, when it comes to safety. Let me ask you this. The folks that are here today, are they all involved in the Carolina Star, or can just any business show up? How does that work? Well, we have 150-plus Carolina Star participants, and they are all involved. They're part of six regional teams, and they all meet monthly, and they work toward uh, the Carolina Star Conference, uh, making sure that it's a success. They all participate because participation is a big thing when it comes to the Carolina Star. We want to make sure that they are participating, adding their um, ideas and their perspectives, and helping us have a successful conference. As far as uh, other companies, they come in more as attendees, and they attend the conference and the uh, workshops, the breakout sessions. Well, I'm just here to have fun. (laughs) (laughs) Me too. (laughs) So how long has everyone here been attending the conference? Long time. (laughs) Carrie, why don't you speak? A long time. (laughs) We've been incorporated as Carolina Stars. We know it, what, 23 years now? 23 23 years. years. We started before then sharing best practices. Actually started where I'm a contract manager at now. We had our first sharing the best practices back in 1995-ish or so at Elementus Chrome Unit. It was like a three or four hour get together. Local businesses come together just sharing best practices. And of course we all picked up on what everybody else was doing. Why aren't we doing it that way? And then why aren't we doing it that way? And it just jailed and then it expanded from there. We wound up, we went to Mount Airy the next year. And we we met about area had about a hundred folks of it be there, and then we decided we started talking to them. Hey, we need to to to, to start us a the, the conference, and we asked about what to call it and whatever. And then we met in Winston Salem the following year, or maybe two years later, uh, and that's we we at all we sat down and formed the board of directors uh, uh, or, or initial board and then of course we got you know voted and formed everything then of course then we got a little team of lawyers to get incorporated and all that so there's a lot going on but uh sharing the best practices that's what makes it unique that's how it started that's how we do it today and are there any original board members left besides you carrie no ma'am yeah you're like the father of the carolina star <laughs> i don't know about <laughs> that <laughs> i don't know about that but <laughs> i'm the last of the, the old board members here yeah so we have the queen and the king. <laughs> well, we got the queen. We, 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 we got the queen. Yeah. And the but I don't know about the king. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know about the queen either. <laughs> well, Amanda, you have to chime in here because I want them to tell. I want you to tell the listeners where you started your career. Right. So um, I've actually been attending the conference for about ten years now. 
started attending when I was with Hospira uh, in Rocky Mount, which was then purchased by Pfizer, so we're currently Pfizer. But I was involved with the STAR program prior to that. I was a health compliance officer for the North Carolina Department of Labor mm-hmm. for, for five years. Um, and I actually performed Carolina STAR evaluations as part of that uh, role with the Department of Labor. So that was my initial exposure to the program. Great She's experience. got great experience. Yeah, she, she does. Wish we had her back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Pfizer. Tell us how you're involved. <laughs> so us together. So currently, um, I serve as president of the board of directors. Um, this is my second year. It's a two-year term, so this will be my last year as president. It's a big responsibility. We have a large conference here. We have almost 700 attendees this year, which is amazing. Wow. It's cool. one of our largest years ever. We're very excited. The board meets uh, once a month, um, and we are responsible for facilitating and making sure that the conference goes off without a hitch and, and that all the boxes are checked and we also provide direction for the teams as they build their breakout programs and uh, handle things such as the banquet and registration and those types of parts of the conference. Who wants to speak to the teams because that's what we hear everybody talk about. I'll speak to the team. Uh, good, good example and I'm not a boastful person. I don't brag on myself but I've served on three board of directors. Uh, Region 4, which covers eight states, also the National Board, which covers the United States, and the Carolina Star Board. And I'll tell you, beyond a shadow of a doubt, the other two conferences are great. Are they conferences? Yeah, they're great conferences. But what makes this one unique above all other conferences I attend is put on by the people Mm -hmm. that's in the program. Mm -hmm. We don't go hire people to go do our breakout sessions. We do them ourselves. Guess what we do? We learn from our own breakout session. Uh-huh. <laughs> you learn something every time. We got one going on right now, the Mythbusters. Mm-hmm. And we went through it. We went through it on the Southeast teams out here. I'm like, I didn't know that. I didn't know that one either. I mean, <laughs> so you learn. I mean, you you learn and you have fun doing it. Uh-huh. But 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 you learn and you, and you, and we feed off each other. So I guess you got the old and you got the new, Maybe but it, right. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it, uh, it, it's what it makes it makes it unique. All three are good programs. This is a great program. Yeah. The, the teams yeah. are critical to this conference. Without yeah. the teams, it, it wouldn't happen. Mm-hmm. They they are responsible, as I mentioned earlier, for for hosting the breakout sessions. They develop the sessions. They spend a year working on right. their topics and, and their presentations. They're responsible for running registration here at the conference. They're responsible for the banquet and all the events that we have. And without them, this conference could not happen. That's right. That's right. Wow. And then each team has co-team leaders. So we have six regional teams, so there are 12 co-team leaders. Mm -hmm. And each one of those uh, co-team leaders take the responsibility for setting up the meetings, picking what type of sessions they want to have, and ensuring that that goes off without a hitch. And I know we talked about the origins of the conference with Carrie, and then Amanda, you touched on there's over 700 participants this year. So what would you all attribute to that growth? What, what was the cause of all that growth over the years at the conference? I would say it's the networking that happens at mm-hmm. the conference. I would say it's the support of, of people like the commissioner yep. and the program reckon, the program leaders like Lamont uh, who helped drive the growth of that program. And it's the star sites. Mm-hmm. Um, they reach out to other companies and talk to them and mentor them and help them um, become more involved in the program, and which helps the program grow. And then the new sites take that to other sites. and. It just continues to grow and get larger and larger every year and it's really exciting because you have such a large group of people here who are passionate about the same thing and and they're here to learn and share and and that's what makes this this conference so special and i would be remiss if i failed to mention the promotional efforts that are put on by the star consultant Mm -hmm. for the Mm -hmm. uh, north carolina department of labor as well as our safety awards coordinators Mm -hmm. Uh, we have 30 plus banquets a year and she takes the time out to promote Mm -hmm. the conference and the star program Mm -hmm. so and And you know what i love about it it's voluntary carolina star is voluntary there's no governmental agency requiring it twisting arms to get people to belong they step up to do the right thing for their employees and themselves and it's just such a wonderful 
program because it's voluntary. That's exactly right. That's a great point. People who are here that's, want to be here. Exactly they right. want to be here. That's right. Yes. And it, it kicking off of what Lamont said as, as well is uh, they and, and, and Amanda too. The, the attendees, I, I feel like over the years, it just got bigger and it gets not even bigger, it gets better. Mm-hmm. It's not all about numbers, it's, it's the right. quality, what goes into it. The quality goes into it, you, you get output what you put in. Yeah. And we have good input by people working hard all year long. And I, I won't go and say it about the board, the board works relentless behind the scenes and like the commissioner said, nobody's getting paid for it. I ain't got paid no. a dime the last 23 years. You do it out of love for That's it, doing exactly. That. Absolutely. If, if you care pe- for people, you got compassion for people, not just yourself, and it'll show. And it, and it shows through uh, the Department of Labor team, as Lamont said, and I'm going to tell you, we got a commissioner second to none. And I'd say it <laughs> to her face behind her back. <laughs> um, I have the luxury of working under two commissioners, uh, Mr. Harry Payne, which was a, a fine, upstanding gentleman. Uh, but then we had this come on board. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, holy cow. I mean, we go to a next level. Oh, and it's, it's just it's, it's that constant caring and people see the genuine caring of uh, of the commissioner and she believes what she's speaking and I honestly believe that but also the teams that come out and do the evaluations they care about the people there they're not the, hey wow. you're bad in this you're bad in that mm-hmm. how can we help you become mm-hmm. get better how mm-hmm. can we get you through this hurdle of you had an incident or recording how can we help you mm-hmm. not slamming you but how can you help Mm-hmm. And that's what it's all about, helping each other. And that's what makes this conference and sets it above any that I've ever been associated with. And I'll take it to my grave with yeah. And we hope to see the that. conference continue to grow through the years. Absolutely. Um, grow. We, we have a website, which is more of a registration <coughs> website right now. It's uh, www.carolinastar.org. But we've just recently hired a web designer, which we're very excited about, who's going to help us develop a fully functioning website and where we'll be able to market and promote the conference more effectively and more efficiently and hopefully have things future state where we could have things like discussion boards for star mm-hmm. sites to you know, ask questions to other star sites and then they could respond to, yeah. to help them and to share those best practices, not just for a few days a year here at the conference, but all throughout mm-hmm. the year through the mm-hmm. website. That'd be great. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. That would really be great. Wonderful. And I know Amanda will be modest, and so will Carrie, but Carrie's a past board president, and Amanda's our current board president. But without the leadership of two individuals like Amanda and Carrie, this wouldn't be what it is today. And so the board of directors, I mean, we have some fine people that are supported by some very good or great world-class safety organizations in in terms of their companies Mm -hmm. and we appreciate the support we get from their companies the sponsorships that they uh, provide us with um, and without those sponsorships we definitely wouldn't have a conference in a month right right. we can't forget our our employers because uh, they sacrifice a lot of times and monies for us Mm -hmm. to be here away from work when we should be at work. Right, and you know, have their just employees like, just go to right. meetings. And, uh, yeah. yeah, and I've, I've traveled all over this country with, yeah. with comp- and held down a full-time job as a contract manager. But it takes good people back at work doing good things yes, too. Yes, it does. So you can get go away. <laughs> so, so you know, it, it takes a lot of people doing the right things. And that's what it is, teamwork. There's no I in team. No. That's right. Yeah. And, and that's so true, Carrie, because our our companies do sacrifice and give us yep. up for at least one day a month, every one to two days a month, you know, right. every month and then during the conference. But it really just demonstrates their commitment to safety right. and what they, they want to see. And they want to see, you know, not just their site grow and improve and have that continuous improvement when it comes to safety, but they want to see other sites grow right. and learn from that experience as well. And I just... I just think that it's a, a great thing to have those types of companies uh, involved in such a great program here in North Carolina. Mm-hmm. That's, right. That's mm-hmm. awesome. I do too, and to me, it's a religious experience. That's oh. the only way I know how to describe it. Wow. I was telling Natalie, when you walk into that ballroom tonight and feel the energy oh, yeah. and the love yep. that that group of people have for each other. Mm-hmm. 
there's no other way to describe it except to say it's like a religious experience mm -hmm. and it stays with you throughout the year it's like you get your battery recharged hey, you know? and you're ready <laughs> to go exactly out and right. conquer the world at yeah. that point and just make everybody want to be a part of it right. because it is so special and uh, I just don't know how else to describe it. Well, um, I just thank God we have it in North Carolina. I wish that everybody could participate in Carolina hey, Star man, that be right. nice? because when you think about it, I have kids who are working mm -hmm. and I'm working, y'all are working, you if you're old enough, you have kids working. Who are they working for? Mm -hmm. Is that company mm -hmm. safe? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know that yours is because you're Carolina Star. Right. And that's one of the requirements. And okay. you preach it, you live it, you breathe it that's every right. minute of every day. That's right. But what about the company where your kid's working? Right. Are they taking care of your most precious possession? Hey, right. The way you're taking care of theirs mm -hmm. or someone else's? Right. It just has to spread. Mm -hmm. yeah. And... It's all about that caring, and you're going to experience that tonight. I'm so excited. I can't excited. wait to you see your face when you well, go. Well, I can't And, and you can go to the other conferences and just like, you know, I, well, I'm here because the company sent me. Right. Yeah. This is entirely different, and it makes us both. I'm serious. It, it's just, it's that religious experience. It really <laughs> is caring. It is, because everybody talks to everybody, mm -hmm. and... I, I get I meet deep people every year. For the mm -hmm. last twenty three years I've met different folks every year. Yeah. Uh -huh. And they'll come up the next year and speak to me like, who in the tickets is that? Yeah. <laughs> and then we get to talking and I remember it because my memory's not like it used to be. But uh, And they've had kids or they've got grandkids yeah. now or you yeah, know. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's just it's, it's like a big family the, celebration. The, the commissioner hit that on of course. Uh I got a grandson. I, I, I'm just the sun rises and sets in my tent. But I want to know that one day that he's in a star program, a company that's in a star. Seriously, yeah. that he's getting trained to do the right things. It's mm -hmm. it's different doing the right things, but being trained to yes. do the right things mm -hmm. is entirely different. And we got to get that med make sure they're trained right, mm -hmm. right, and get them prepared for the workforce rather than just throw them out there. Yeah, so I want right. him trained and depending right. on somebody else to train them, which yeah, they may exactly. or may not do. Absolutely. And, and when the demand for employees yep. is so great, people are being asked to perform Absolutely. jobs they've never done before mm -hmm. or yeah, tasks right. they've never done. And are we taking the time to train them so that nothing will happen to them? You mm -hmm. got it. I mean, it's just a very pressing problem that we have. It is. Mm -hmm. And this helps promote the need for that and exactly. shows people the path you need to go down to have that present in your facility right. or on your job site yep. and develop that feeling of just loving and caring for your fellow man. Mm -hmm. You're right, Dakota. Uh, years ago, I remember, I, I got to go back and reminisce a little bit. I am old, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I remember John Bogner came on uh, board back in Harry Payne, was still. Uh -huh. And John was a ball of fire, like Lamont always is. Uh -huh. And he hit, I got this vision. I got this vision. This man's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I got this vision. I got this vision. And we're walking down the hall at GE. I was over at GE as, as the general foreman at the time. He said, well, I got this vision. I need help with this vision. So he kept talking. And uh, I got on board with him. I said, you know, that's right. That's what we do need. So then he tells me, he said, but y'all can't, y'all will never be a star site. I said, why is that? He says, people in the construction field not in the star program. He said, just too many hazards for talent. Come on now. <laughs> so we we applied anyway. They didn't have pre audits then. They just done the audit. They come and he had brought his team with him. And the second day he was there, and he, he comes in, he says, I'm good, thank you. He said, I'm a... <laughs> I'm going back to Raleigh with my team. He said, you just will call your folks together and let's have a meeting. God, I'm fixed to get fired. I done <laughs> oh. put in for this pro with <laughs> <laughs> And he said, I was wrong. He said, y'all as good as, as that will ever be in this pro. And that made me feel good. Uh -huh. But he, he put on his game face to start with. I don't want to kill him. So anyway. uh -huh. <laughs> but it started. And, but he had that vision. He had that inspiration, that care. Uh -huh. Of course, John's long gone better things, and that's okay. But he still he had it in his heart, mm -hmm. and he showed it. Yes. I mean, he generally cared. Now, he, if you were doing something wrong, he'd tell you about it. 
but it was in a caring way, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. just like Lamont will. Mm-hmm. Hey, you, hey, you need to do this, but it's in a caring way. It's not, you know, it's it's entirely different. Back in the day, I read Mister Nut. Back in the day, uh, if you'd have mentioned OSHA was at the gate, <laughs> I'd have probably went and hide somewhere. <laughs> Uh, now I said, okay, come on. Great. That's all nice. you can do is help me. I've told them all. All right. you can do is make me better. Mm-hmm. You can't hurt me. You can make me better mm-hmm. or help me to come better. So that's what you got. Everybody in this state's got to do that because there's still people out there that, ooh, all uh-huh. ocean. There, there are. He said, uh-huh. look at the programs that the state provides mm-hmm. that we can train on. Just just go look in the library. Mm-hmm. It's there to use. Mm-hmm. All you got to do is use it. We're here to help. And those relationships are formed, and those partnerships are formed as a result of Commissioner Barry Absolutely. and her initiative and her push yep. to partner with industry. That's right. And the reason behind that is that the only way we can be successful is to work together. Mm-hmm. Right. And you know we can't do everything. It can't all be compliance driven. Right. While compliance is very, uh, is really necessary for some bad actors out there, but we have to have partnerships, yeah. mm-hmm. alliances, and different programs, training, in order for us to be successful as a whole. Yep. We want, and that's why North Carolina's uh, injury and illness rates have And as we could become yes. successful, then the compliance part of it, not it doesn't go away, but it comes less of, a, mm-hmm. of importance because we're doing the right things like right. we should. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's right. And that's All keeping people place. safe and going home and coming back with their. T- you know, Terry hit it last night in the, or yesterday afternoon. The opening is we want people to go home like they came to work. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But we want, how many of us want us to come to work like they left and go home? With all their fingers uh, and toes. Yeah. Same mm-hmm. things, 24-7. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that, that's what it's all about. Yeah, that, it's, it's an interesting, Commissioner and, and Carrie, you both mentioned things that our, our opening and closing speaker, Terry Gray, mentioned in his opening uh, session yesterday about, you know, safety is really about love. Absolutely. And it's about caring for other people and looking out for each other and, and that continuous growth and the continuous um, improvement that, that we can do through programs such as the Carolina Star Program and that partnership and working together that yep. it's it's not just looking out for yourself when it comes to safety but it's looking out for each other mm-hmm. but also making sure that you are looking out for yourself when, when it comes right. to safety because we we choose to take a lot of personal risks sometimes when it comes to mm-hmm. our own personal safety mm-hmm. even as a, a safety manager you know you, you may find yourself taking a risk that if you saw someone else doing that you would definitely mm-hmm. speak up and address. It was just really interesting that, that you two brought up the same exact points yeah. that, that Terry Gray spoke about last night when he was talking about his safety man movement and how yeah. we're all you know, involved and we're all part of I that. I wish I could have heard that. Well, he's going to be our closing speaker oh, as well. He's going to be the so closing speaker. So you will get to hear him. So you get the second round Good. there. <laughs> That'll be fantastic. A high energy presentation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because it really is all that it's about. Right, absolutely. He hit it dead on. That is exactly what it's about. It's, it's about caring for your fellow man. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't care who they work for. Me either. If he's hurt, he's hurt. who they are, where they came yeah. from, or whatever. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Exactly. Mm-hmm. There's somebody's child. First of all, they're a child of God. It's but then male. they're somebody's child. That's right. Exactly. And maybe they're working alongside your child. Yep. And That's right. I want all of them to. Right. Go home. But we get a pick me up every year with the commissioner. It's just a, it's a, it's a godsend. I mean, really, and, and it's, it's, it's y'all. How are y'all doing? But she, <laughs> <laughs> but she right. means it, and yeah. people know right. she means. It. How are y'all exactly. doing? I mean, how are you doing? Really? Yeah. And you know, every time I get on the elevator, I see her pictures. You know, Aww. I mean, I'm serious. And, you, and right. you think about those things in the in the last twenty years or so. Yeah. That yeah, she's been commissioner and it's never been but up, 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 up. And she gets up there and she beams about her numbers and numbers are great. But she's beaming the fact is people are not getting hurt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Not yeah. about the number, just the people is not getting hurt. Mm-hmm. That's the main thing. And it shows. Mm-hmm. And it shows. The compassion shows from the people of leadership and, and, and it, it, the, the board's leadership mm-hmm. and all. It shows that compassion and getting out and talking to folks. That's why this conference has grown, mm-hmm. and that's why this conference will continue to grow as long as those things are in place. What a great way to sum it up. I know. Um, before we wrap up, does anybody have anything else that they'd like to add? 
I want to just point out one thing. I think most most of our listeners probably know that Commissioner Barry has decided to retire. Mm-hmm. Yes, not running for re-election. That's mm-hmm. right. So next year will be your last year. My last year. As the Commissioner of Labor. Yeah. Here and at um, Star so if you're listening and you haven't ever attended, next year might be the perfect year. Yes. <laughs> Lamont, That's the perfect and year Lamont Smith, for I've us to you. reach our goal of 1,000. All right, <laughs> let's do it, people. <laughs> Come on, let's do it. <laughs> we need to borrow some school buses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bust them in. And uh, we're coming back. Oh, we'll be here. Oh, yeah. We'll be here. So we would love to have... Everyone, all the companies out there listening, send representatives, uh, bring your whole team next year. We would love to meet our goal of a 1,000 attendees. Those dates for next year are September 30th through October 2nd in 2020. So um, be uh, looking out at the website, www.carolinastar.org, for that registration to open uh, early next year. And go ahead and sign up and, and send your crew down to learn all about safety and share those best practices. And have fun. That's right. Also, the companies that that are not in the program but are thinking about it or don't even know what to program, I encourage them to to take that next step Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and get your application. We'll talk to Lamont and his group to what the next step is and let them come in and talk and let's walk through it because you won't regret it. Mm -hmm. It can only make you better. Mm -hmm. And the unique thing about our program, in summary, is is that we are 150 star sites are tasked with the responsibility of mentoring other sites. Mm-hmm. And that's part of our Carolina Star program requirements. And they are eager to do so. So if you are a company that's out there that's looking to become world class, please, by all means, you may contact me at 919-707-7852 and I will talk to you about the next steps you need to take to become a Carolina Star program participant. I think that all of our participants in our safety award programs with those banquets all over the state, all of those people ought to be Carolina Star. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. They've got the uh, record Mm -hmm. to go ahead and get involved and call them out and have those folks come out and see them. And I would just like to see this whole program just explode Mm -hmm. and the numbers just grow, grow, grow. And like everybody said, you won't be sorry, you'll be safe. (laughs) (laughs) Love it. Well, thank you all so much for taking the time to join us. I think this episode has a lot of good information and is a good way to spread the message. Thanks so much for tuning in, y'all. Remember, your safety is our priority.